And finally, on front page, the global AI infrastructure war just gained a new front. Qualcomm, long known as a mobile chip powerhouse, is now stepping boldly into the data center AI race, going head to head with Nvidia and AMD, the two undisputed giants of AI compute. And it's actually starting with a massive 200 megawatt deployment in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's Humane and Qualcomm Technologies have announced a partnership to deploy the world's first fully optimized edge-to-cloud hybrid AI system, aiming to position the kingdom as a global hub for AI infrastructure. What is happening under this plan? Well, Humane will roll out 200 megawatts of Qualcomm's A1200 and A1250 rack systems starting 2026. This marks Qualcomm's first major hyperscale deployment and a direct challenge to NVIDIA's 90% market dominance in AI accelerators. This is actually more than just another data center deal. It's actually a strategic semiconductor and AI infrastructure play. And this is how it unfolds. For years, NVIDIA has ruled the AI data center landscape with its well H100 and Blackwell GPUs, while AMD's M1300 series has emerged as a strong number two. Qualcomm's move to uh, targets the inference layer of the stack, where models are actually served to millions of users rather than the expensive training layer. Key differentiators of Qualcomm's AI200 and AI250 stack inference first architecture, unlike NVIDIA and AMD's training heavy GPUs. Qualcomm's chips are actually optimized to run AI models at scale, and that too efficiently. Rack scale systems. Instead of selling standalone accelerators, Qualcomm is actually entering the market with fully integrated liquid cooled racks, allowing enterprises to plug and play at hyperscale. Memory advantage. Each AI200 card packs up to 768 GB of memory, a major leap that actually reduces model sharding and energy overhead. Power efficiency. Designed to lower total cost of ownership, a key factor for hyperscalers shifting from training to serving. This is actually a direct challenge to NVIDIA's CUDA lock-in and AMD's high-performance training positioning. Qualcomm isn't trying to outmuscle them on raw training flops. It's actually attacking the economics of inference where real-world deployment happens. The partnership with Humane isn't just symbolic, it's actually scale. Humane will integrate Qualcomm's AI racks with its ALLAM models, enabling sector-specific AI solutions for energy, logistics, mobility, and government services. These racks will well serve both domestic and international workloads, transforming the kingdom into a regional AI hub. Tariq Amin. CEO of Humane said this, Together, we will enable Saudi Arabia to lead the next wave of global AI and semiconductor innovation. End quote. For Qualcomm, this deal well provides validation at scale, a launch customer that actually showcases its capabilities to hyperscalers globally. For Saudi Arabia, it's actually a leap in its Vision 2030 strategy to diversify beyond oil. NVIDIA dominates training compute with its Blackwell superclusters. AMD is expanding into hyperscale partnerships with OpenAI and Microsoft. Now, Qualcomm enters as a cost-efficient inference powerhouse, starting in the Middle East. This is happening against the backdrop of this. Massive global GPU shortages rising power and cost pressures on hyperscalers, a geopolitical race to build sovereign AI infrastructure. So by aligning with Humane, Qualcomm is positioning itself not as a replacement, but actually as an alternative path for countries and companies looking to scale AI 
without depending solely on NVIDIA or AMD. Cristiano Amon, Qualcomm CEO, said this, By establishing advanced AI data centers powered by Qualcomm's inference solutions, we are helping the kingdom create a technology ecosystem that will accelerate its AI ambitions. End quote. Clearly, this is about how the AI chip landscape is shifting. New competition. Well, Qualcomm officially enters the AI chip war. Economic pressure. Inference cost becomes a critical battleground. Geopolitical diversification. More countries will look for alternatives to US chip monopolies. The rack wars begin. As data center build-outs surge, rack level integration, not just raw chips, will decide winners. Qualcomm isn't trying to actually dethrone NVIDIA and AMD overnight. Not at all. It's actually attacking a weak spot, the cost and efficiency layer of AI deployment. With a 200 megawatt Saudi flagship, memory rich racks, and a power efficient inference strategy, Qualcomm just fired the opening shot in a new phase of the AI infrastructure race. Clearly, this isn't just a chip story. It's a huge power shift in how and where AI runs at scale. We would love to know what you think in the comments below. And well, with that, it's good night from front page on AIM Network. India's definitive, well, organization and voice on everything AI and technology. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. And always remember, think well AI, think AIM. We say this every day.